just want to share with you guys some uh, driving tips you know some technical driving tips for defensive driving to make sure that you guys can drive safely on the road now of course the first thing you guys want to do is that every time you guys get in the car make sure you guys adjust your seating to the point where you guys are comfortable with pressing on the brake pedal pressing on the gas pedal as well as reaching for the steering wheel as as well as um turning your steering wheel now second tip is that always use two hands whenever you're driving because when you take your driving exam they'll be really looking at uh, whether you are using one hand or two hands if you are using one hand there's a high chance that they they'll probably mark you down for that so always ensure that we have maximum safety make sure you also try to see you know like turn your steering wheel to see how comfortable you guys are at turning so that when you guys actually make a turn when you guys are sitting in the car make sure that you guys use your right foot you guys cannot see it here because it's night time make sure that your right foot really have the feeling of moving to the left to hit the uh brake pedal and moving to the right to hit the gas pedal now some people will you know i'm not sure if you can see it here but some people will use you know this is your this is your right foot this is your left foot some people will teach you to plant the heel of your right foot and use it as the pivot point to move to the left to hit the brake pedal move to the right to hit the gas pedal depending on the height uh, of your you know of you of yours um sometimes you have to actually lift up your right foot and move it to the left to hit the brake pedal and then move it to the right to hit the gas pedal so by doing that you guys will really you know eliminate your chance of getting into a car accident due to mistaking your gas pedal is your brake and vice versa because i have seen a lot of people who got into unintentional car accident by mistaking the brake pedal as the gas and vice versa always turn on your headlight signal first look in your mirror look over your shoulder to check out of your blind spot and then very slowly let go of your brake pedal let your car move slowly like that and then turn over your shoulder as many times as you can you know the more you turn the better and then slowly pull to the road and slowly accelerate you want to accelerate slowly because you guys want to take out your gas pedal same thing goes for um your brake pedal by hitting the brake from far away like that not only will you be able to signal the guy behind you that you know that you're gonna come to the complete stop you will also really decrease your chance of getting rear-ended approaching the red light well i'm already begin to hit the brake and so you see my car slowly slowing down um <laughs> that's kind of funny i say slowly slowing down because what happened is that i want to ease into a complete stop instead of like just you know suddenly hit like that that's just really going to increase your chance of getting rear-ended so the, the whole idea is that you guys want to always start accelerating slowly and start hitting the brakes you know from far away so that you can ease into the complete stop at the red light and the stop sign and you can accelerate slowly to have to always have total control over the speed that you're going at and of course that another strategy that you guys can use whenever you guys are driving is that even though you guys are at the complete stop you know on the street and of course it is a four-way stop you know always look around you look to your left look to your right look behind you to see if there's any a uh, potential pedestrian who just you know decided to cross right. use the right lane to merge onto CA91 east toward Riverside you know to see if there's any potential pedestrian who um you know who just happens to randomly decide to cross the street in front of your vehicle even if you have a green light so right now I'm entering the freeway so you see me like I'm accelerating slowly but I want to make sure that I accelerate as fast as possible to catch up with the speed of the freeway so the idea is that always accelerate slowly but signal ahead of time look in your mirror look over your shoulder and of course so yeah the idea is that always accelerate slowly but quickly every time you enter the freeway and of always double check all of your mirrors and turn over your shoulder as many times as possible the more you do it the safer it is i'm driving here and there's that honda that just merged into my lane i always want to make sure that i maintain at least uh three to five seconds of that and now three to five second rule is that uh let's just say he's right at that side how long is it going to take me to get to to get right underneath this uh, exit side right here well that should be three or four seconds right there i'm not sure so if you count the amount of seconds from the spot that you were at and to the spot that he was at if you happen to count at least three seconds or longer that means you had a safe distance by maintaining a safe distance like that in case you guys need to um 
hit the brake all of a sudden due to anything ahead of you, at least you would have enough room to stop, to come to the complete stop without hitting a guy on the front. But in that situation, you better pray that the guy behind you won't re-end you. Another strategy for driving on a freeway, never ever be right next to um, the vehicle either on your left side or on your right side. Because what happened is that a lot of people, they would change lane without, over, without looking over their shoulder at all or enough. So if you happen to drive next to someone who doesn't look over their shoulder completely like I just did, and they try to change lane, well, that, they're just gonna increase your chance of getting into a car accident by them uh, side swiping you or just mer merging into your lane and ended up um, and then they end up um, hitting you on the side because what happened is that you are in the blind spot but it but they are so irresponsible for not checking the blind spot by turning over, over the shoulders completely if you look on my left I don't have any vehicle except for those cars just passing me by and on the right side I don't have any vehicle either except for this truck right in front of me so I'm seeing this truck right here, right? I'm about to be right next to him, but I want to make sure. And of course, I keep in mind the, the destination I'm going to. I'm just gonna go ahead and signal, wait for the guy on my left to pass me, continue looking in the mirror, look over my shoulder completely, and then once I'm safe, I start merging. Like that. Once I'm in the lane completely, I'm gonna turn it off. For those who have just started learning how to drive, or those who, those who haven't driven in a long time that they're trying to get back to it, my suggestion is that always go at a speed limit even if it seems like way too slow in the perspective of other, of other driver because remember that you are trying to prioritize your safety all of the other cars are trying to pass you at the much faster speed beyond the speed limit just let them just ignore them if they honk at you just ignore them you know if the, um, you know they flip you off something like that just ignore them because honestly road raging like that is not going to help you at all and if I am correct, I think road raging is also a, a criminal offense. Stay calm, you know, just worry about yourself. Don't worry about other people. The top priority is your safety and your defensive driving. Whenever you guys pass any freeway entrance while you're on the freeway, at least look over your shoulder and keep one lane away from um, the entrance, you know, to um, continue prioritizing your safety. So signal ahead, look in the mirror, look over my shoulder. Once I'm safe, start merging. And of course, making sure that the, um, the vehicle in front of you is not gonna hit the brake while you're merging, okay? Every time when you exit the freeway, make sure that you guys always start hitting the brake from far away. So that way you can decrease your chance of uh, you know, losing control over, right. you know, so that way you guys can always have control over uh, your vehicle so that you guys won't lose control of the turn. The Never change lane when you're in the middle of intersection. So just wait until after you pass the intersection and then you change lane. In the parking lot like this, we're talking about compact space and we're talking about people potentially, you know, pulling out of their parking spot without looking over the shoulder or they just happen to decide to pull out of their parking spot you know at the very fast speed so you know just be very careful when you guys are in the parking lot or should I say in the parking structure you know in I mean in any type of parking lot I should say so whenever you guys are in any type of parking lot just be very careful go slow but not too slow and of course don't go fast watch for the stop sign they are not gonna have any stop sign pole like in your neighborhood they're gonna have it right right on the floor so always make sure that you guys read uh, the street read the floor ahead of time now earlier you guys saw me entering this uh, parking structure and you guys noticed that at the entrance I was going uphill but my view was limited it was blocked by uh, by the floor so that's all the more reason why we always have to go slow every time we're in any type of parking structure because the more your view is blocked in the parking structure the more dangerous it is you know, especially when you're making a turn like this, because what happened is that you never know whether or not there's any car uh, that is coming from the opposite direction, and we don't even know whether whether or not that vehicle is gonna go fast or slow until the moment we see them.
shit. Ooh. Damn.